MPP picks Akufuado as presidential candidate. Ghana's ruling New Patriotic Party, NPP, has picked incumbent Nana Akufuado as its presidential candidate in this year's election, setting up a third consecutive battle against former President John Dramani Mahama. The ruling party, in a statement released on Saturday, said Akufuado will contest the December 7 poll with Vice President Mahamuda. Bawu Mia as his running mate. Joining us from Accra, Ghana, is Odelia Ntiamua, a journalist. Thank you for joining us. You. What's your general perception, or should I say, what's the general perception in Ghana with the incumbent and the Nakufuado on a third consecutive contest with former President John Mahama? Uh, well, what I would say is that it's 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 totally to be expected. Um, nobody expected the MPP to give us any other candidate apart from uh, the sitting president. It is only uh, natural that uh, once they stand for a first term, we're expecting that they will do a second term in office. That if they get the nod from the Ghanaian populace, and then also uh, nobody is also surprised that the current um, uh, presidential candidates of the biggest um, opposition party, NDC, um, that's John Dramani Mahama, is also standing. So it's no surprise. These are the two most marketed candidates of the two parties. They couldn't have chosen any other persons. Uh, we had a similar case in Nigeria when the current president, Muhammad Buhari, went ahead um, to um, get on the lawn, so to speak, with the former president, Goodluck Jonathan, though twice. Uh, does this portray um, debt of uh, capable men and women uh, that it has to be restricted to just two men for 12 good years? Well, I, I wouldn't say that. What I'll say is that it's all about marketing. Um, if you have a candidate that is well known to the populace. Um, you know that based on people knowing which candidate it is. So it's not just about the fact that these are two big parties. Remember that people that just don't vote on party lines. People also vote on issues. People also vote on personalities. And so once you have um, a strong following um, of a particular candidate, it is only natural that the parties wouldn't want to change these candidate but filled them for the coming elections. Remember that the NDC um, that is led by John Dramani Mahama um, is even still struggling naming a vice presidential candidate and so you should it should be natural that uh, Mahama who has been most publicized he was former uh, president wanting to stand again uh, becomes more appealing to the populace and then of course the president has been popular both locally and internationally and so you expect that the mpp will naturally endorse him for a second term uh, the, the question still remains does this imply that there is a debt of uh, other people with quality leadership that could be considered uh, for these positions I think that by 2024, when we go back to the elections, it will no longer be these two candidates. Um, it's very likely. I'm not too sure whether the NDC will field again um, a John Dramani Mahama, who is going to be having just one term, looking at his peculiar um, situation of having done one term already and the fact that you cannot go more than two terms. And so um, 2024 will really show the death of the, or, of the kinds of people that we have uh, as a country. I don't think that it is a matter of people or parties struggling to find um, replacements. It's all about whose candidates or which individuals are most marketed to the Ghanaian populace. In 2024, it, it will be neutral grounds for both parties. Now, it will be likely that the NDC will have to choose a new candidate and naturally the president would have earned his second tenure of office and it's only natural that um, he moves on for another candidate. All right, Odelia, thank you very much for sharing uh, some insight on the situation in Ghana. Thank you too.